doing well. I'm here to address something that uh, I've been going over a lot in my telemed telemedicine appointments. Because um, a lot of you are uh, working from home now, I just want to talk about home ergonomics for how you're going to maintain working and not uh, inj potentially injuring yourself with a repetitive uh, stress injury. Okay, so most people are using laptops or uh, ergonomic setups that aren't quite ideal. So I just want to talk about how to fudge those things to make it as uh, uh, biomechanically neutral for your body as we can. Okay, so first thing is if I use a laptop, and most people, what I would say is you want to pretend like you have an imaginary blueberry underneath your 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 uh, arm that you don't want to be crushing it. And a lot of people, what they do is they'll type like this, sort of that their wrist is crushing the blueberry underneath their wrist. And if I do so, what I'm doing is I'm loading the the tissue on here on the posterior part of the forearm. And by typing like this. Eventually, what's going to happen to offload the tissue here, your body's naturally going to shrug the shoulders up and you'll be typing like this. Now we have constant load in these upper trap or later scap area that pulls up into the neck. Okay, And if I do this, I'll then potentially launch my head forward. And this is where I don't want people working. So how we offset that is, I want all of you to take your keyboard and slide it back. And if I slide it back, I have my elbow to my wrist on the keyboard. And now the weight of my arm is being held up by the table. And I, all this tissue is relaxed. And so if I picture those blueberries, I should have blueberries underneath my wrist, my forearm, and my elbow. I'm not crushing any one of them. It's equal pressure throughout. Now I'll be typing here, and uh, that's how I want to work. Now, problem with laptops is either the keyboard is the right height, but then the screen's too low, or the screens are the right height, but then my keyboard's too high. Okay, so what I, I'm sure a lot of you have a lot of Amazon boxes now because you're getting a lot of deliveries. All I want to do is you take the keyboard or your laptop and bring it up so it's at eye level. And then you get a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. So I have this monitor at eye level. My keyboard is pushed back so my elbow and wrist is on the table. And you want to set that um, a good height to where you're not... The table is not so high that your elbows are shrugged up like this, but not so low that your elbows are off the table. You want to be just right, okay? So I'll be typing right here, and my mouse is right next door. So again, I have equal pressure from my elbow to my wrist, and I can type that way. Okay, now, posture-wise, uh, the body will always pick the easiest, the easiest position to do, right? So what that usually means is it's going to rest into a joint and not use muscles. So by sitting, the easiest way for me to sit is just to do this. I'm just slouching into my joints. My curves on my back are rounded out. I'm essentially, I'm arching my upper back and my head's lurched forward, okay? And the thing is we can do things for a long time without having pain. Pain is our body's way of just telling us that we're in dire straits and it makes you move. But we can operate for a long time without having pain yet. So don't wait for pain to be your guide to when to change position. So how I want you to sit is you're gonna sit at the edge of your chair and just drop one knee down so it's below your hip. Because if I do so, my pelvis rotates forward just a little bit and it keeps my neutral curve in my low back. And what I'm resting on now is fascial tension in the front of my thigh, not resting into a joint. And if I keep this position, I'm trying to slouch and it's hard to do so because my pelvis is rotated forward, right? So if I sit here at the edge of my, edge of my bench, edge of my stool, knees down, elbow on my wrist, everything is at the right height, my shoulders relax, I can type and move here. Okay, so this is how I want your ergonomic setup to be. Now, for those of you that aren't working from home and trying to make this setup at your work, and if you have two monitors and not just one, have the monitor use the most right in front of you and have the one use the least off to the side enough to where you have to turn the whole body. So my rule is if I have headlights, my eyes, my shoulders, my hips, my knees, my feet, all the headlights have to face the same direction. So you never want to be working where you have some headlights facing one way and other headlights facing another way or if I'm here and I'm always turned this way, right? You want everything facing the direction you're pointing towards. Now, every 15 minutes when you're working, I want you to give yourself a micro break. And the best micro break you can give yourself when working is some, at a computer is something called a Brugger's exercise. What a Brugger's exercise is, is you want to think about my, my hands like this and I picture an X on my palms, okay? So all you're gonna do is take those X's and you try to shine them behind you as far as you can. And what that does is it takes my shoulder blades and tilts them posteriorly like this. So once I've tilted, turned my arms back as far as I can, I'm gonna drop my shoulder blades down, holding each position at, at its end. Okay, then I'll take my wrist back this way, 
and I'll take my elbows back this way. So I have four positions. Turn as far as I can, hold. Drop my shoulder blades down, hold. Wrist back as far as I can, hold. And elbows back as far as I can, hold. And you can hold that for about 20 to 30 seconds. Because what it does is it stretches everything in the front of my anterior arm line that's been tight when I've been working, and it contracts and shortens all the things that have been stretched out when you've been working. So you hold that for about 20, 30 seconds, and then back to work every 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so hope you find this helpful. Um, hope this negates the need to uh, uh, email us on a lot of these upper uh, extremity issues. But if you do have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks. Mm -hmm.